Hi everybody, this is Congressman Tom McClintock. I'm speaking to you today from the recently treated acreage that's part of the Defensible Space Enhancement Project here in the Tahoe Basin. A resilient Tahoe requires resilient forests, and resilient forests require active scientific forest management. A generation ago, we actively managed our forests to assure that tree density matched the ability of the land to support it. Every year, U.S. Forest Service foresters marked off excess timber and then sold it to the timber companies that removed it. Today, well-intentioned environmental laws passed in the 1970s make that process endlessly time-consuming and ultimately cost-prohibitive. An untended forest is no different than an untended garden. It will grow and grow until it chokes itself to death and then fall victim to disease, pestilence, drought, and ultimately catastrophic fire. It takes centuries for a forest to grow back and begin that cycle again. The megafires that have consumed millions of acres of the Sierra over the last decade are shouting a warning at us here in Tahoe today. You know, the Angora fire here in Tahoe in 2007 was our wake-up call. Lest we forget, less than two years ago and just 100 miles from here, the campfire killed 85 people destroyed nearly 19,000 structures and utterly obliterated the town of Paradise. Now that fire was 50 times the size of the Angora fire. A similar fire here would mean the utter destruction of Tahoe's communities. And our neglected forests are no different than those that surrounded the town of Paradise on that day. And also, lest we forget, in 2019 and so far in 2020, there have been 70 fires here in the Tahoe Basin. Any one of them could have become Tahoe's campfire, but for the vigilance of our basin firefighting team and the growing network of alert Tahoe cameras that provide early detection before these fires can explode out of control. Now, we didn't hear about many of these fires because our basin fire departments got on top of them. A day will come when they'll miss one unless we augment that thin green line with forest resiliency. Now, four years ago, a bipartisan effort achieved an important milestone toward that goal. We got a categorical exclusion from the National Environmental Policy Act that streamlines forest management projects here in the basin for fuel reduction. I'm uh, told that's taken the time to approve these projects from years down to mere months, and the environmental reports from hundreds of pages down to just a dozen or so. I'm very encouraged to see the Lake Tahoe West project implemented, which will treat 60,000 acres more than any time before, including nearly 20,000 acres of mechanical thinning under this new authority. The forest thinning will reduce the wildfire risk and improve forest health, making the forest more resilient to insects and disease and drought. I want to thank, on behalf of our entire community, all of the basin fire chiefs and their departments, the U.S. Forest Service Basin Management Unit, CAL FIRE, and the Tahoe Fuels Partnership, all of whom work closely as a team to protect this lake for our generation and the many generations to come. In the ongoing effort to keep Tahoe blue, it is their vigilance and professionalism and heroism that's the foundation of everything. Thank you.